no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I don't mean to alarm you right at the beginning of the episode, it's not very polite. It's like walking into someone's apartment and immediately pointing out the spider in the corner or the dump on the carpet. But I have no choice. The truth is, America is at war. I know it's scary, you're like, what? Where? Grab my shovel and my mace! If we don't have mace, get some spray-on deodorant, we're gonna get these bastards! But it's the truth. America is at war. In Afghanistan. It's been going on for about 11, 12 years now. But luckily for 99.9% .9 of Americans, it's not a real war. It's just a silly game going on halfway across the world that no one pays attention to. So it made me think, why don't we just create a TV game show about it? I mean, that's what war is to us anyway. We could have special competitions, like who could drop bombs from drone aircrafts and kill the fewest civilians or the most civilians who look surly. We could have the indoctrination episode where contestants go in with facts like almost all Muslims are peaceful and then they come out the other side going, all Muslims want to kill me and use the nation's 7-Elevens in a well-planned, highly sophisticated attack of obesity on the American people. Plus, it would be like the Hunger Games where you have your, your favorite contestants and then they slowly die horrible deaths. Meanwhile, we'd glorify the weaponry and the armory and laugh about the death and destruction. We could put B-list celebrities in the games like Hulk Hogan or Todd Palin, and if they died, no one would be too bothered. I mean, that's what's supposed to happen to a B celebrity. They die or they fall down a spiral of drug addiction or they go on dancing with the tards. It's horrible. Dying for our entertainment is the more compassionate end for them, honestly. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Somebody call up French Stewart. Get, get Apollo Ono on the phone and salt and pepper and that guy who used to say, dude, you're getting a Dell. We have a reality show to make. What, what's that? Ah. Uh. I, I've just been informed there's already a war reality show. Comes out in a few days on NBC and stars Todd Palin and one of the dudes from the boy band 98 Degrees. And I know that sounds like a bad dream you had after you ate some old shrimp scampi. All we'd have to add is your third grade teacher, but apparently it's a cultural nightmare we're all having. Jesus fucking Christ, I was proposing it satirically, you assholes! Is nothing sacred? Is there nothing that can't be exploited for entertainment? There are literally children getting blown to shreds in Afghanistan as we speak, and over here in our little bubble, it's a game show. It's fun for the whole fucking family! Exploding people for unknown reasons while 70% of America opposes it is simply a good old-fashioned dance around the maple. Then again, America seems to oppose it in the same way they oppose eating peanut butter out of the jar with a fork. It seems wrong on many levels, but then when no one's watching, who really cares? And of course this television show will make war look fun and exciting with no one getting really hurt. But I have a hunch that very few of the episodes will focus on watching your friend die or dealing with PTSD or how it feels to think you're fighting for democracy and then two years later find out you were fighting for ExxonMobil's kleptocracy. But if I'm wrong, if there's an entire episode devoted to giving Dean Kane or Todd Palin PTSD, if there's an episode about Peekaboo Street losing a leg and an arm to an IED, and then watching how she deals with returning to a society that doesn't even seem to know there's a war going on, then I will come back on here and announce that I am a fool. And I will sing 98 Degrees' entire repertoire in my underwear. NBC's Twitter handle is at NBC. Let them know what you think of their new war attainment program, and maybe we can get it off our television sets after only one season, kind of like the war in Afghanistan. This has been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.